Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and joining me in the kitchen today is Chef Michael Adams of 1741 on the Terrace, located at Historic Hotel Bethlehem. Chef, it's wonderful to have you back here today. It is great to be here once again. <laughs> what are we making? So we're going to do a uh, salmon dish. Mm -hmm. It's Royal Tide Salmon from the Bay of Fundy. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to make a curry vinaigrette. And then we're going to prepare it with some uh, pear, Brussels sprout, cauliflower, and some other tasty things. Wonderful. Let's get started. All right. So we're going to start off by getting a few things in the oven. OK. And uh, we're going to just take a little bit of neutral oil. OK. So like a grapeseed oil or something like that. Grapeseed, safflower, sunflower. All right, so we're going to get that up to temperature. So we're going to take some uh, Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. We have just a little bit of cinnamon and star anise. Mm. And we're going to take some shallots. Okay. And uh, we're going to start off by uh, roasting the Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. Okay, great. Some really nice winter vegetables. Absolutely. Perfect for the summer here. All right. Here. So we're just going to make sure that all of the Brussels sprouts are flat side down mm. so you get nice caramelization on that side. That's a good tip, so always make sure you flip them over. And do you always start your Brussels sprouts and roasted vegetables in a pan? I do. Okay. Yep. Why? What's, what's the point of that? Um, well, you can just, especially a pan that you can just pop in the oven. Mm. That's all. Okay. Yep. And we're going to season a little salt, mm -hmm. a little pepper. Does it make them cook faster this way? Uh, the Brussels sprouts? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I, yeah, and we, we cut them down a little bit just mm -hmm. for cooking times right. during service, right? So it's an appetizer. Sure. Uh, we want to get that out, you know, relatively Quickly. quick. That's yeah, right. so. Hungry people. All right, so we're just going to take those and we're going to add a little bit of cauliflower in here. Okay. Again, we cut them flat. Mm -hmm. So you get real nice caramelization on here. Beautiful. So we're just going to take a little bit of shallot now. Mm hmm. Little bay leaf. Okay. And we're going to do this at 325 degrees. Okay. And then we're going to take cinnamon stick and star anise. And I'm going to take a little bit of fresh thyme. Mm. Very nice. The cinnamon and the star anise is such a unique addition to this. Yeah, just that very, very subtle right. dimension. So as soon as you start to hear that, we're going to take it off and mm -hmm. we're going to pop it in the oven. Great. Okay, so the next piece of this dish is we're going to take, uh, we're going to do just do some uh, lightly spiced pumpkin seeds. Okay. All right, so again, we're going to start off with a little bit of heat here, not, not too hot. All right, and so we're just going to take a little bit of cayenne. Okay. A little bit of chili powder. So spicy nuts. Pumpkin seeds. Spicy pumpkin Spicy seeds. seeds. Yep, a little bit of cumin, a mm -hmm. little bit of garlic powder, and a little bit of oil. Okay. And we're just going to toss those gently in the spice. Just evenly distribute those spices on the pumpkin seeds. All right, and we're just going to get those in the pan and then pop them right in the oven with the Brussels sprouts. Perfect. All right. So once you start hearing the popping noise over here on these, you'll hear they'll start to pop a little bit. We can pop them in the oven. And you're just looking for those to get kind of roasty and toasty. And yeah, until they're crunchy. Perfect. Yep, and you're, you're kind of blooming the spices on there, mm. right? A little bit of salt. Bring all those flavors out. Pepper. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. And then the next piece is we're going to make our curry vinaigrette. Okay. Just let those go for a minute. Great. So while we have those cooking, why don't we talk about what's happening at Historic Hotel Bethlehem? Lots of new things Lots going on of these things. days. Tell me about it. So we have our executive conference center. Huge deal. Big deal. Really big. So, yeah. So it's 5,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Our largest room will hold up to 80 people for a conference. It's a nice size. Not too big, not too small. Nope. And we have all the 
technology, the big mm -hmm. screens and nice podium. And then we have breakout rooms. We Perfect. have five breakout rooms. Um, and we do basically breakfast and lunch. Of course you offer food. Of course. <laughs> and then um, after your conference is over, you can come down and have happy hour in our tap room Love or it. dinner in 1741. Such a nice happy hour in the tap room. Excellent wine list, excellent craft beer list, great cocktails. There's a little something for everyone. Yeah, it's uh, spectacular, yeah. actually. Yeah, I'm a big fan a of it in there. Great place to work. Mm -hmm. So um, we're just going to take, those are starting to uh, yeah, bloom a little. You hear them popping? Sizzle, so sure. at this point, we're going to pop them it's in like the Rice oven. Krispies. So the other things that are happening, of course, mm -hmm. we have our ice cream shop across the street. My favorite. We had to move it. We got so busy. I know. And not only our gift shop, our ice cream shop outgrew itself. So right. we we uh, took over a space across the street from the hotel. And it's so cute inside. 24 seats and tons of ice cream from Love Penn State Creamery. Love those waffle Yep. yep. So and we also have hot chocolate. And we have hot chocolate. So it's when it's quite, a little too chilly for ice cream, you still have a nice treat. It is quite delicious. <laughs> All right. So... Um, we're going to come back and we're going to start the vinaigrette now. Okay. And you said this is a curry vinaigrette. A curry vinaigrette, yeah. Okay, now I'm seeing where that star anise and the cinnamon kind of plays in here. It's all going to marry together and I just need that pear. Got we're going to add some pear to the vinaigrette as well. Very nice. This is currently on your menu? This is currently on our menu. Yeah, so I'm doing Perfect. it a little different today. So we okay. have the roasted cauliflower and um, Brussels sprout nice. appetizer. And I just thought we have this amazing salmon, so we're going to turn it into an entree. Perfect. You get the best of both worlds. I so love you can it. do it as an appetizer without the salmon, or you can prepare it as an entree with. Beautiful. And the royal tide salmon is amazing. I, I can't say enough about it. I love it. The, uh, the fat content you can see. It does. It has a very there. high fat content. And um, again, uh, raw preparations <laughs> and uh, cured and grilled so and slow it. roasted. It just works all around. Nice. Um, so we're just going to take a little bit of pear for the vinaigrette. So we just want to get the, the sweetness of the pear mm -hmm. into the vinaigrette. So we're just going to take the pear <clears throat> okay. and we're going to take two bay leaves. Well, while you work on that, I'm going to bring in Bartholomew Broadbent of Broadbent Selections and he's going to talk a little bit about some of the wine that we're going to pair with this dish today. Absolutely. Um, so the first wine we're going to do is a Vino Verde. Uh, Vino Verde is a very light wine in Portugal. <laughs> it's only 9% alcohol, which means you can drink a, a lot of it. Bottle. Yeah. Um, do you want to open it now or later? I would love to open some now. Let's screw it off. This is my own wine. It's called Broadbent. We make it ah. in Portugal. My little niece painted this flower when she was four years old. It's a gorgeous Very bottle. proud of Alice. It really stands that. out. It does, and it's become a, a huge successful wine in America. People love Vino Verde. I love Vino Verde because they're just a, a little bit effervescent. Yes. There's a little bit of sparkle. A little bit of a spritz. Mm -hmm. Really tasty wines. And it's really, in, in Portugal, we drink this instead of Coca-Cola because- <laughs> I like that. You, know, you don't drink Coca-Cola there exactly. much. Exactly. Yeah. And this is a good wine for drinking whilst you're cooking as well. Cheers. Cheers. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I love it. It's got a it's really yummy. nice flavor profile and it's crisp and a little sparkly. And it's Great. a really, really fabulous wine throughout the year, but especially in the summer. If mm -hmm. you're sitting by the pool. Exactly. Nice and refreshing. Beach, and yeah. Like you said, you can drink a whole bottle. Exactly. <laughs> Easily. Well, we're going to keep cooking and then we'll bring you back in a little bit for the tasting. Okay. And we'll talk about the other wine there as talk well. about the other wine. Wonderful. Cool. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. Okay, so we have our pears. They're ever so slightly caramelized. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a little bit of shallot. And we're going to take our red curry. Okay. Now, is this a curry paste, like a Thai so, red curry? Thai red curry paste, okay. yeah. And then we have the yellow curry, the, mm -hmm. you know, the coriander, turmeric. Just your standard madras curry. Correct. And we're going to take a little bit of cinnamon. Nice. And we're just going to bloom that wow. a little bit, right? The smells in here are unbelievable. I mean, it's so fragrant. The second all of those spices hit the, the hot oil, yep. it just explodes. We just want to bloom that for about one minute. And then we're going to add, we're going to shut the heat off. 
And we're gonna add maple syrup. Nice. We're gonna add a bit of honey. Maple syrup and honey. Maple syrup and honey. Wow, I love how you're always mixing different ingredients. Like you'll use several different sweeteners in a recipe, several different types of acid. And then we're gonna take some uh, cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna let that simmer in with the spices and the pears. So instead of using a straight vinegar, right, right. we're adding all of these different ingredients mm -hmm. and we're gonna simmer those into the vinegar and then we'll just emulsify the oil into it. And it'll Beautiful. Be, it'll be fantastic. So now at this point, we're gonna let that steep, okay? okay? And in the meantime, let's check our uh, Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. Yep, so. Looking good? Yep. All right, so now we're gonna start <clears throat> the salmon. All right, so. Just for sanitation purposes, we're gonna, especially on. with fish, right? Yeah, and you're for gonna, sure. I'm gonna finish up the dish at the yeah. other end so you don't and then want you don't, that. Yeah, you don't get your hands right. off. Right. All right, so this is just beautiful salmon, nice fat, fat content. And, and you always buy whole fillets like this and break them down and No, house. we buy whole fish. You buy whole fish. We high buy whole fish. And Somehow then I knew uh, that was we the break them down and then we'll. Take a little bit of the belly off, and then we'll make tartare. Um, sometimes we'll just do the the loin of salmon this way, mm -hmm. and we do different things: raw, cured, everything. So, nice. trim this up. You guys really are great at utilizing every you, single part of the protein. It's the only detail. way. It's the only way we know how to do yeah. it, right? And for cost purposes exactly. and creativity purposes, mm -hmm. right? So, and flavor purposes. And flavor you know? purposes. It really makes a difference. Yep. All right, so it's we're gonna nice do a nice, now this isn't the portion that we would sell in the, uh, the restaurant. We've got a hungry crew but here. But we, so. we do have a hungry crew. <laughs> so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna be generous. And I'm gonna cook two of these. And we're gonna do, so we're gonna present this side up. Okay. And let's get a little salt and pepper. Now what is the key to getting a nice crispy skin? Hot pan. All right. Hot pan. All right, great. I hope I was supposed to salt that's, that. That's okay. perfect. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna do the skin side down. Mm -hmm. And let's season both sides of the salmon, right? Very we're important. Eating, we're eating both sides. Exactly. All right, and we're just gonna, we're gonna finish this up in the pan. Okay. We're not going to finish it in the oven. So we're just going to let that salmon crisp up. We're going to cook it about 70%. Give it a quick flip. We're going to finish out the vinaigrette. We're going to take the vinaigrette. We're just going to use the spoon. We want to get all that goodness. You, you just want the liquid, the tea, pretty the, much, <laughs> that you made. Absolutely. And you don't need too much of this. It's going to be very, very strong in flavor. There's a lot right? going on in there. So. Now you didn't add any acid to this, or no, you did, you added the cider vinegar. I had the cider vinegar Correct. and the rice wine vinegar, and that's just, we're gonna take a little, again, neutral oil, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna whisk this in. So if you use like an olive oil in this case, it would be way too, too strong. Yeah, you don't wanna use olive oil. It's, you really, really need a neutral oil mm -hmm. for this. And you're going just a tiny bit at a time. Yep, and it's gonna emulsify nice with the mustard and the curry. Right. So it'll hold up real well. It smells unbelievable. And let's do a little pinch of salt and pepper on here. All right, you can add that. Great. Let's take a taste. Tell me what you think. Oh, me? Mm. Wow. So just a little bit on there, right? It's a little it's a little it's hot, but though. with the no, cauliflower but and the Brussels sprouts mm -hmm. and everything else, we're only gonna use a little bit of it wonderful. when we, when we uh, plate it up. So many different flavors happening in there. You can't even pinpoint each one, but they all work together wonderfully. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. All right. How do you know good. when these are done? So they'll be light, very light so brown. A little golden. And, yep. Okay. Little 
light golden brown here. Oh, you can smell those too. They smell really Yeah, toasty. everything is very, very flavorful. So we're just gonna finish this up. So see how nice and nice and caramelized the Brussels sprouts and the cauliflower. And it picked up some of that cinnamon stick and mm -hmm. star anise. Very nice. Beautiful color on those in such a short amount of time too. Yeah, no, they, they come out. I always think of roasting vegetables as taking like a half an hour, 45 minutes, but this is really quick. All right, so they look beautiful. And now we have the salmon, so let's, let's see what it looks like in here. What do you think? They are ready to go. Nice. Look at that. So golden brown on nice the skin. Crisp. Yep. Mm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let it go from that point. Beautiful. We're going to cook it for another minute. And then we'll pull it off and it'll be a nice medium rare. And what we'll do is we're going to just finish this salmon. We're going to add a little bit of thyme in here just to give it a little, a little more oil. And then we're going to roll that through the salmon. And that'll just perfume the flesh of the salmon. Looks great. All right, so we got that nice thyme flavor on there. Now, what kind of big events do you have coming up at Historic Hotel Bethlehem? I know you have a big music fest in the summertime. We do. So that is a big one. Yeah. And fortunately, we're going to have these great wines on special this year. We have actually our number one seller. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. Yep. And it's, um, we just, people love this. Spy Valley. Yeah, Spy Valley. New and Zealand. New Zealand. The best. And it is just amazing and everyone who has it just loves it. Those happen to be two of my favorite varietals of wine, the Vino Verde and the Sauvignon Blanc. So it's like the show was made for me. They were great <laughs> wines. All right, so we're just gonna let these cook for another 30 seconds. And All right, we'll great. Pull them off plating? and we can start the plate up, yeah. Great. Now, if these vegetables weren't in season, let's say we were more into spring or gearing up for summer, what would you use instead? So, um, boy, uh, you know, for this vinaigrette, I'm, I'm not really, this, this vinaigrette truly uh, pairs well with these vegetables. So you want something so, a little heartier. Little, yeah, I mean, you know, asparagus and fiddlehead ferns and, you know, all of those uh, spring green vegetables Too that delicate. are, yeah, so, mm, I get that. you know, something lighter okay. um, for this particular, particular dish. What about root vegetables? Would that work? So right now in the middle of winter, mm -hmm. absolutely. Celery okay. root, parsnip, mm. salsify. Sure. You know, you can use any of those and then, you know, you can even add a couple potatoes with it. So pumpkin seeds, we're just gonna, you want a little bit of those with each bite. Mm -hmm. You can see how the spice is really toasted up in there too. Salmon. And then we're just going to finish with a little bit of the vinaigrette. And we're going to go light on this. It's very pungent, right? A little right? goes a long way. So we're just going to... I love how thick it is, too. Yeah, just reducing that down. Right. The, the flavors are just going to be Sweet. very, very concentrated. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to add a little bit of Groff's Farm sunflower sprouts on here. I love how you utilize all of the different locally sourced vegetables and sprouts. They are amazing. All right. Well, we got to enjoy the Vino Verde while we were cooking. Yes. Now let's talk about what we're going to drink with the dish. Absolutely. So the Brabant Vino Verde could go with the dish, sure. but I've chosen Spy Valley Sauvignon Blanc. It's a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, mm -hmm. um, from Marlborough. A lot of people... Um, either love Sauvignon Blancs from New Zealand or they don't. I do. Um, and the people <laughs> who don't tend to like this anyway because oh. it's, got a, it's got a very, um, just a, it, it doesn't have the acidity okay. that some of them have. Sure. Um, so this I find people who like Chardonnay mm. or Sauvignon Blanc tend to love oh, this really? Spy Valley. It smells great. 
It's a classic Sauvignon Blanc. Cheers. Just cheers. cheers. Thank you for pouring such wonderful wines for us. Now, what are the price points on these wines? Well, Vino Verde is about nine dollars. Can't beat that. Nine, nine. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, the Spy Valley Sauvignon Blanc is about sixteen dollars. Um, also, can, not bad. No, Under twenty dollars for a glass of or a bottle of wine this night. Yeah, and they have really screw tops, so you can keep them open in the mm -hmm. fridge and not worry about them. Beautiful. But All right, well, let's dig in. Looks very good. Please, ladies first. Don't make me taste by myself. The salmon, you can see how buttery it is. Mm. That skin is like a crackle and it's so crispy. And the salmon mm. is buttery. And the vinaigrette, there's just a hint of it on there, but it's really, really lovely. And this is one of your, this is your biggest selling wine in your- It restaurant. is our number one selling wine uh, in the restaurant. I mean, the, the wait staff, what's really nice is that the wait staff loves it. Yep. So it makes it easier to sell. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone who has that wine is just blown away. And both of these wines, if you're watching this outside of the state of Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. these are both available in every state. Of oh, the wonderful. US. That's perfect. Fantastic. And um, that, even with Alaskan salmon. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Well, I know I'm going to look for these in my liquor store the second I get home. Excellent. This has been such a pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much to Broadbent yep. and to Historic Hotel Bethlehem. And our website is broadbent.com. If you can't find the wine, just contact us. We'll perfect. let you know. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Well, cheers. Right. Cheers. cheers. Thanks. Thanks again. Always a pleasure working on the chef's kitchen. The crew here is fantastic and we get to drink wine and eat food and what can be better than that?